Hey guys, so I've been getting a lot of requests for certain parts of the book and I'm thinking about making this into a series of certain parts. So yeah, right now I think I'm going to start off with the props and the wands, which is what everybody's asking for and it's in this section so we're going to go to right here page 479 it's prop making which I'm guessing the wands would be there too so let's try to get there and I'll probably have to edit in a few clips together because this is going to be long 475 77 artifacts so we're gonna start off we're gonna do artifacts and props so right there we saw Harry's glasses his wand the map Gryffindor tie few glasses and here we have the sword of Gryffindor so here it says artifacts prop making from the sorting hat to wands to Quidditch equipment and horcruxes, the prop makers and graphic designers who worked on the Harry Potter need to create a vast number of items to fill the wizarding world. A variety of artistic disciplines was required, including brooms and jewelry making, sign writing, leather working, stained glass artistry, portrait painting, and even paper engineering. Many of the artifacts involved collaboration with the special effects or costume department. The th art department had a very large spectrum of skills to skills to draw from, says a supervising modeler, mod, model or Pierre Bohana. And each film brought more objects to design and execute, which added an incredible richness to the world. So right off the back we have one sorting hat, howlers, the memory cabinet, and the pensive, Tom Riddle's diary, Slytherin's locket, the Hufflepuff cup, Ravenclaw's DM, brooms, maps, time turner, books, daily profit, ministry, want to poster, the quibbler, Weasley's wizard, Wheezy's, golden egg, goblet of fire, tri wizard cup, Sneak a Stope, Deluminator, Deathly Hollows, and Golden Stitch. And that's just saying what's on this page. So we're going to get right into it. This might be a long video, I'm not sure yet, but we'll figure it out. So a lot of you were asking for the wands, and it doesn't go a lot into the wands. It's only a certain bit, but you guys saw it in my first video. It has Narcissa's wand right here. And right there. And then we have Slughorn's wand up there. Um, I haven't read this yet. So I'll probably clip in another, edit in a clip of what, like a summary of this. But right here it says. A close, at, a close look at Narcissa Malfoy's wand constructed according to her concept art below, which is here. A top color study by Adam Brockbank of three... Oh, okay, a top. Top is, which is Slughorns, and it says three colors, variations of Slughorns... A Professor Horse Slughorn's wands in a particularly slug-like shape. Below is the concept art by Adam Brookhart of the ebony shaft for Narcissa Malfoy's wand with silver brands and studs. So right there. I'm going to flip over to the next page, which is where we see Belectrix. And her wand up there. And then down here we have wand holsters, which are holders. And then on this side we have these wands. So I'm going to start off with Belectric first. Under Belectric's picture, it says, 
Electric Lestrange's wand, shaped like a like the talon of a bird's prey. And then it says above pointing her wand at Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part One. The wand holsters. This is where they get to hold their wands. And it says Left the prop makers designed a series of wand holsters for the Death Eaters that would attach around their waist for easy access. Above the concept art by Rob Bliss detailing the rings and the straps linking the wand holster together. And here we have some of the wands and on top it says what wands are this one is umbridge i don't have umbridge's wand so i can't really compare it um this is igor karkov they don't make his wands for noble collection so we can't compare it either this is a bobatin student which is where floor the core is from I have Flora's wand, but it looks nothing like that. And then here are the Carl's wands, which I don't have either. And even with that, Noble Collection only makes one of their wands. So I'm going to read this. From left to right, designed by Robert Bliss for the Carl Twins wands for Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Print. A book, Batten Academy of Magic Students wand by Ben Dennett and Igor Carl. Carcraft's wand designed by Ben Dennett. The lowers Umbridge's wand des by Mi Mira Mirafor? Mina? I'm totally bad at pronouncing these names. And then we go into this page right here. Which has all the wands for the Death Eaters and Voldemort's on top. get this to focus there we go and then right there it says concept art by Adam Bro Brockbank for Lord Voldemort's one below a variety of the one ideas developed by Ben Dennett for the Death Eaters so and then we go on to the next page, and it goes into the sorting hat. So it doesn't go into great detail about the about the wands, but again, I still need to read this whole page right here. So I'm gonna go read this and see what it says, and then I will edit the clips together. Hey guys, so this is what. This says basically it's explaining the wands, so I'm gonna read just a couple of snippets of it. Which I'm gonna focus in on these if you guys want to pause the video and read. So, pause it here to read this paragraph, and you can pause here to read this side. So, basically, it says that each one in the film was developed with a fictional owner in mind and that's just what some quotes um... Snape's wand is slim and spare with no embellishments while Belletra's wand is curved in it almost like a talon of a bird's prey embedded in the Lord's Umbridge's wand is a jewel pink of course on the handle of on the handle end of the horse Slughorn's wand art director Hades story notes are two little antennas and Antennae would that like a slug or a snail. Brobeck designed an Assyrsa Malfoy's wand to echo her husband Lucius. I took the same black wood I used for Lucius's cane and embedded silver studs, essentially doing a more feminine version of his wand. <laughs> he also designed Voldemort's wand. I had the idea that it was curved to resemble a bone, possibly a human one. The tapered tip leads to a thick section 
where you can see a honeycomb of the bone that comes with a with a knuckle joint and then there's a hook at the end like a claw which Ralph Finney's accurately tucked around his little finger it is quite evil shape some ones were medium fixed upon the first design but others evolved during the course of the films including Harry Potter's wands while directing Prisoner of Azkaban, Alfonso Creon offered the young principal actors a selection of new one to choose from. Daniel Radcliffe chose the one with a tree trunk type handle. I think the more successful ones were organic looking, maybe whittled out of a bit of root branch. To me, they are most mysterious and magical. Death Eater's one, in contrast, exhibit showy. Show me. There are men. Their masks are made out of village, village greed, silver, and their costumes are quite intriguing. So the idea was that they would show off their wands too. Once they looked at each of the wands, was decided a master copy was made, which often occasion. A series for a special material. We are looking for interesting pieces. Blah, blah, blah. Then we make a mold and replicate it in resin. Duplicates were created in a case. A wand broke. And the rubber version were made for stunt work. Not all wands were, were tailored to the owner though. For crowd scenes such as gatherings in the courtyard after Dumbledore's death and Half-Blood Prince. There were an additional 150 wands were needed, so they the selection were generic wands. We had three different types of wand handles and sticks that Pierre casted in different colors and materials. So that's pretty much what that says. Doesn't go into a lot of information, just more scene movie, which we already knew about. So that is it for this video, and it's this is just the wands. Um, leave comments below, telling me which ones you guys want. What next you want to see? Do you want to see the Horcruxes? You want to see anything else? And again, I'm gonna flip back to the front of the book where the table of the contents is, and you guys can tell me what you guys want to see. So here's part one, making Harry Potter and all of the stuff. Part two, the art of Potter. And part three, the epilogue. So there we go. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.